Head coach Mike Tomlin stated on Tuesday that the Pittsburgh Steelers, despite their solid 6-4 start, had fired offensive coordinator Matt Canada. Kenny Pickett, the struggling quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, went only 15 of 28 for 106 yards in the team's 13. Ten lost to the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. With just 283.6 yards per game, the Steelers' offensive rating is currently 28th, lower than that of all but four NFL clubs. Since the previous season, Pittsburgh supporters have been demanding Canada's dismissal. However, Tomlin is customarily reluctant to make such decisions in the middle of a season. But then additional Fire Matt Canada placards started to appear at Acrisure Stadium, previously Heinz Field. So it seems like things shifted. After the Steelers were limited to 249 yards against the Browns, including just 106 passing yards, discontent within the locker room may have reached a breaking point, even though Tomlin stood up for Canada for weeks. When asked what may be wrong, wide receiver Deontay Johnson responded simply, You saw the game, while running back. Najee Harris expressed that he was growing tired of this stuff in the aftermath. Kenny Pickett's stagnant growth as a quarterback is perhaps the most damning evidence against Canada. Pickett, who was selected in the first round of the 2022 draft, had a strong rookie campaign the previous year and displayed glimpses of his ability to make an impact during the summer preseason. As soon as the games began to count, it was all gone. Only two touchdown passes have been made by Pickett since the beginning of October, and even when the Steelers recently relocated Canada from the coach's box to the sideline in an attempt to improve flow and communication, his accuracy has declined. Although the players praised the decision in victories over Green Bay and Tennessee, the offense significantly deteriorated against the Browns. Though Mike Sullivan... The quarterback's coach, who has experience as an offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay and with the New York Giants, is likely to be given the position temporarily. There was no announcement as of yet on who will take over play-calling duties. The Steelers are about to embark on a more tolerable stretch of their schedule when they make this decision. Cincinnati, twice, New England, Arizona and Indianapolis are their next five opponents and none of them are currently above. 500. Pittsburgh's chances of making the playoffs again, after coming up just short the previous year, probably only require a slight increase in output. The run game's development throughout the previous winter propelled a 7-2 surge that kept Canada in office. However, Pickett's and the offense's other projected 2023 actions have not consistently manifested as Tomlin had hoped. All ten of the Steelers' games this season have seen them outgained, including last week's game in Cleveland, where the Browns played rookie quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson. After Pittsburgh's penultimate possession, Thompson Robinson led Cleveland on a late drive that proved to be the game winning one. Pickett had thrown three incomplete passes, none of which had gone near their target. Though Tomlin claimed in the aftermath that the team did not question the decisions made during the game, he nevertheless made a move less than 48 hours later that was unexpected yet probably being inevitable, if only due to timing. Pittsburgh has a reputation for being stable and has never changed coaches during the season. But Tomlin concluded there was only one significant move left because Pickett appeared to be regressing and his alternatives were getting more and more constrained.